what is going on YouTube I am back with another video you guys all right and you can see it is still dark outside right I had the light on me from the track itself I'm actually standing in pit road right now you guys um, again we are at Auto Fair man one of the biggest car shows on the East Coast it is now about six o'clock in the morning uh, the head turners group is actually getting you know set up we just got parked we probably got a little bit more organizing to do cleaning to do um and prep for the car show um but like i said man i am in pit road all right and you can see the track is super empty um and it's kind of weird being at the track and hearing the lights right uh, but of course man before anything make sure you like comment subscribe all of that good stuff man because we're so close to 2000 um, and like I said, there's a huge giveaway at 2000, man. Uh, but of course, like always, everything 13, <laughs> everything 1320 happens on this channel, you guys. Let's tune in. Let's go. All right, you guys. You can finally see the sun is up, man. I am in car heaven right now between Challengers and Corvettes, man. It is going to be a crazy packed day. I'm here till 6. Um, so, like I said, I'm going to split this video up into about three or four, man. I don't know if you can hear in the faint background, there's some drifting going on, right? Right? So, we're going to have a car show video. I'm going to show you all the cars that are out here, you guys. We're going to go drift a Dodge Charger Hellcat on one video. Um, and then I'm also going to do another video of the actual um, drive-alongs with Chevy. There's C8s and stuff over there. Uh, so, just stay tuned, man. There's going to be a few videos out of this one, even though this is the intro for the actual car show right like i said this is queen city challengers that i'm next to along with corvette of the carolinas man on the infield you can see i'm on the grass right but let's get into some of these cars man it is absolutely crazy out here all right you guys know how i feel about challengers man so the fact that there is a lineup all right all challengers all the way down the infield man um all done I think this is Queen, yeah, Queen City Challengers, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you a few. Um, the first being three bagged out um, challengers that you, that you can see, man. You've seen a few of these before, you guys. Um, but you got a cammed out wide body. And of course, one of my favorite bagged out Hillcats that's out here, you guys, with the carbon fiber details. Uh, everybody, everybody say hey, everybody, everybody, everybody say hey, everybody. Of course, the new one. All right, finally picked it up. And guess what's under there, you guys? Oh, say it again. <laughs> then you got a few Hellcats, TAs. There is a lot of them, you guys. Um, but I wanted to stop on this one because this is one of my favorite setups. Um, check this out. So I looked at these before I picked up mine. And you can see, man, it just makes the car look super aggressive. Um, I think these are the best setup that I've seen on a, on a Hellcat in a while, you guys. Like I said, you can probably hear probably hear the drifting going on in the background but they got a lot man I think there's over 30 in their group uh, which is crazy and of course my guy big hits man you can see him over here always always hanging off in the cut man check the steering wheel brand new carbon fiber Oh, carbon fiber details everywhere. Look at that. Look at that. Right. So you can see a nice little SRT392. Super clean. Like I said, of course, big hips himself. Then, he out here uh, chilling as well, man. Y'all can see. But, then we're getting into yeah, two orange ones here. Two orange ones. Super clean. And one of my favorite plum crazies. Um, that's out of Charlotte. Ah. Check out. Check out the badge. I like that. Super clean, man. 
even more challengers. Like I said, there's plenty of them. Plenty of them, you guys. Got a hundred anniversary. Never seen one, but it's actually clean, you guys. Super, super clean. Saw something on the seat. Yep. Hundredth anniversary. Dodge Charger RT. A nice 392. Oh, super clean, man. <laughs> super clean. Now, again, right? I love the challengers. I love how they look. I'll take one over a charger any day, right? I think the wide bodies look way better. Um, but what we're going to get into now are the Corvettes, man. The Corvettes are my go to. And it's, again, what I want next. We're going to find a few that's going to kind of stick out. But let's take a look at those. All right. Like I said, we're going to find a few Corvettes, man. Um, you guys know how much I love the actual Corvette, especially the C7 body style. Um, we're going to go through a quick little run of them because there's probably probably over 200 of these things, man, from old schools down to your 2020 C8s. All right. Uh, but there's one in particular that really caught my eye. Um, as you can see, like I said, even got a C8 in orange, which is a, which is a different color, you guys. Orange is definitely not one of the Corvette colors I normally see. Um, but here's the one that caught my eye, and we got a Grand Sport in the blue, right? And this kind of reminds me of Ken, which is now Ben's car, C7 Ben. Uh, but if you know this, this is that that nice granite color with the blue, and again, it kind of mocks the. Uh, Corvette Ken look that you had. Now Corvette Ken had a thousand horsepower plus to the wheel, uh, but I think the details on this absolutely are wild, man. Um, I love that blue, and the quality of the car makes it so much better. But like I said, man, Corvettes are everywhere here today, man. Like everywhere. We even got a '57. Check this out with the white wall tires. Super clean. And then this is this is a real Corvette, you guys. This is the ZR1. This is the top of the line. See the carbon fiber, right? Whole carbon fiber package itself, man. You can see the seats back here as well. Super clean. I wish it came with the. Uh, oh, it is carbon fiber steering wheel. I about said the wrong thing, but check that out. It's manual. It is manual. This thing is bad, man. Real carbon fiber super clean man i think this is my favorite car out here so far that i've ran across man um and it's definitely a 2018 or above because you can see the cameras in the front here and then we even got a supercharged pro charge supercharged vet another orange c8 oh look blue c8 i told you look, the corvette shows up in numbers out here you guys it is crazy and still going, still going on Corvettes, man. Um, but again, I can look at Corvettes all day. Oh, I like this. This burgundy is crazy. Burgundy and chrome with the little black accents. Even the red on the inner wheel. Look at that, man. There is, there is more Corvettes here than I've seen at a dealership before. It's crazy. Oh, look, that yellow is clean. Super clean. And of course, you guys know I love red. Oh, you can definitely hear the drift now. But check this out. Check this out. I may take this over the white because I like, I like black better. But here is your super clean Stingray. Carbon fiber package, man. Everything you can think of done to the car. Butterfly doors. That's clean. That is super clean, you guys. Then we got a red ZR1. Wow. That's that's perfect. Somebody in the channel buy me this. I need this like now. Like that's crazy. We got another 50th anniversary Corvette. But like I said, you guys, I am in the middle. All right, I am in the middle, all right, of the actual speedway, man, of the track itself. Um, 
but you can hear it bouncing off the the seats, man. So stay tuned for my next video. That way you can see me drift. All right. Hey, Dodge Charger Hellcat. You can hear it from my way. Um, but that is the Corvettes, man. I tried to go through fast slash slow because there is so many cars here. I want to get everybody on camera. Um, but we're gonna take a look. It's a group of Mustangs that are right here. I mean, there's there's everything and anything, you guys. So I try to keep cars with cars. That way you can pick out where's your car or where your car is in the video, you guys. Um, but let's check out these Mustangs. Man, one thing about Mustangs is they are always gonna show up together. Um, and they always have a super clean lineup. Um, and one thing I also like about Mustang is you can tell the difference in the car based on the body style, all of that, which I think Dodge does a poor job of. Um, but it's one of those things you, you hit or miss, man. I'm not a Mustang guy, but super clean. Oh, this red just hits different, you guys. Yeah, man, Mustangs for days. Check this out. I have never seen one of these before. I connected to it. That's wild. But this right here is what I call Coolwood Gold. If you know anything about Coolwood Middle School, this is the exact same color. Woo. Okay. Okay, I hear you over there. I hear you talking now. Hey, okay, man, another little Mustang EcoBoost, I'm pretty sure. EcoBoost. Yeah, there, there's your short little group of Mustangs. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of them out. But let's let's take a look, man. We got old schools. We got everything to look at. Let's get into it. All right, I found my dream car, you guys. You got a 440 Cuda in green with the shaker. Absolutely perfect. See the interior, man. This thing is crazy. Um, a dream car you guys it'll happen sooner or later but you can see we got a few old school sitting out here we even have the nice little suburban but the colors are just ridiculous we got a dark stinger here we got a fury out here we got a srt 300 that's different a nice little scat bag Another 340 Cuda in orange, man. This is the color I prefer. Uh, you can see, super, super clean. We got a nice little, again, dart on radios, man. Dart on radio. Um, there is so many cars, man, um, that it's kind of, it's kind of aggressive to get all of them. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, I'm still on, still on the turf, still on the turf, looking at a few more of them. Uh, but it's one of the craziest car shows I've ever been to, man. It's actual real cars here, man. They actually hand out some crazy trophies. We got a lot of Buicks here. These cars are super long. Geez, look at this. It's like 10 feet long. It's crazy. But yeah, we're going to head this way get some more of the cars um i know there's a few cars you guys can say a few a lot of cars you haven't seen but we'll head this way um and show you some more i bet you guys have never seen a bel air on 4g's with a chrome lip you guys you see the interior super super clean man i really like the color combo even the interior is done up super nice man but again super deep lip forgiato Let's see, we got a Plymouth over here, man. Road Runner. And y'all seen all of those Corvettes already. But again, we got a few more Plymouths out here. A, a nice little Dodge group. We even got a Dakota. Haven't seen one of those in forever. Got Chargers. Another dart stinger. I gotta learn a little bit more about those. Then we have a Barracuda, which is a little bit different than an actual Cuda. All right, what is a car show without a Viper, you guys? What is a car show without a Viper? Super clean. 
All right, and of course, we got some Pontiac Trans Ams, GTOs, Firebirds, whole group of them, man. Whole group. Check out the military green. Then we even got a 5.3. That out, man, that color is crazy. Got a 428. These are the cars of the track I'm a little bit nervous about, man. They they can definitely set themselves up, set themselves up to be a little fast. Even the GTOs, especially cammed out. I got a guy, 6.0 Chief, who's got a really really crazy fast car. Um, it's cammed out. But let's let's rock on the track, you guys. Um. There's so much here and so much of a variety, right? Um, kind of looks like I'm picking and choosing in a sense. Um, but a lot of the cars, I don't even know what they are. So I'm actually sitting there learning off camera, like, okay, what kind of car is it, etc. cetera. Um, I'm walking up on this bank of the, the track. It's crazy. Um, they have so many cars and what I'm starting to notice is not all of them are alike, right? Then with the clubs themselves. Uh, but. You know, I'm just glad it's not as hot as it usually is, man. Got a nice little breeze. Um, there's over, easily over a thousand cars here, man. Um, so again, if I don't get to you, man, I promise you, I'm sorry. Um, but again, you can see there's a lot of nice cars. You got a little Impala, right? Um, and even, I hope it's not street legal, but you can see it's super clean, man. Got a license tag, man. You know, you guys, you guys know the rule with the license tag. If it's licensed, it's just been through the DMV, it's street legal, right? But you know, who knows? Uh, yeah, I'm walking far, so I'm breathing heavy. <laughs> uh, oh look, you guys, I'm on. I'm gonna start, start finish one, right? Uh, but we're gonna head the other way. I'm gonna get some of these old schools, man. You guys know I'm terrible at old, at old schools, but I'll turn the camera on as soon as we get back to the old schools. All right, you guys, this is the C8 that was in the shop last night. We actually took care of done by Bosworth. All right, um, he's got it all cleaned up for today. Looks super, super clean as a C8, man. Got the vertical doors. All right. But what I really wanted to show you was this lineup of Grand National, you guys. Super clean. Gives me a little bit of a, a Donk Master vibe, man. Um, this may come to the channel at some point down the road. I know you can hear all that motor back behind me, but... but yeah, one of these would be perfect to kind of build into a track car, man. Um, again, kind of a Donk Master vibe, if you must say. Um, but I, I am a fan of Grand National, you guys. They're super, super clean. Super clean. Um, but what really catches my eye, man, is this red and white candy cane thing here, this Bel Air. Right. This is something that, look how clean the interior is. That's something that, ooh, you keep in the family for a while. Super, super nice. We even got, we even got a group of them up here we'll take a look at as well, man, because I am a Bel Air fan, right? Um, I think they're super nice, especially the dual colors that they have. But the orange and gray is super clean. But I always find the teal to be one of my more favorite colors because they always have the white seats on the inside, man. They always, always, always. You cannot go wrong with that color. More Corvettes, you guys, of course. I do like this green. This green is wow. Check this out, man. The details on this are wild. Wild, man. Even the gold. The gold on this just. Look at this yellow. Look at this yellow. Between these two, like that. That's hard to choose from, man. That yellow kind of has like a mustard feel, and that's that's super crazy. Got the different the different color reds. 
blues. And what I'm seeing, there are more and more of these things, and they're kind of funny, you guys. Um, but again, you got a whole group of Corvettes, even down to a 1960, right? I think, yeah, 1960, yeah, it says it in the front. 1960, right? And then you have a 69 Camaro, which is one of the hardest Camaros to get. And look how clean this thing is, man. You can tell how much effort he's put into, into this car, man. It makes no sense. If you know what this is, this is absolutely crazy. Looks like there's a whole bunch of them, actually. Look at this. A whole line of them. Blue. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this blue. Look at this blue. I, wish, I hope the camera does it justice, man. We got a burgundy. We got a couple of Z28s lined up. Orange and white. Man, look at... Is this like... It's almost like a purple burgundy. Check that out, you guys. That's clean. Nice blue. And this is how you know the car is clean. Check this out. That's how you know the car is clean. All right? And this is obviously a race car. Check by the Willwood brakes. And I've been waiting to show you guys this. It's black with a gold top. It's, it's sick. Like, the harness, race seats. This is done right. Like it's definitely done right. Even the black Z28s. Oh, a T-top. Check out the T-top, you guys. The T-top is wild. Peanut butter inside. Super, super crazy. Got a red Z28. But what I really want you guys to see is this. Check out this paint job, you guys. Yes, I said paint. Right, this has some effort into it, man. You have the Willwood six pistons, right? Trans Am. The paint job is just out of this world. That's a lot of effort into that thing, man. Of course, right next to a super clean C8. We got a '64 Impala, '64, yeah, and then a Nova, man. You watch Street Outlaws, you know you know what a Nova is. Got another clean, super clean color. We have an SRT 392 Hemi. All right, yes, SRT 392 Hemi with a ATSV. All right, super clean, pretty colored paint, man. And the reason you can tell an ATS is the, the length of the car. And this is a turboed version. This is a four-cylinder. Or six-cylinder. I'm not a thousand percent sure, man. Especially on the year. But that is a super clean-looking car. Um, but you can still hear. They've been going all day with this drifting stuff, you guys. All day. Um, I know a lot of people probably looking on camera like, Oh, why am I on camera? Um, but... Skipping over a few of you guys, I'm sorry. But I really want to get to the judge that's down here. Check this car out. We got the judge, we got the GTO out. Super clean orange paint. Check that out, man. Check this out. We even got a Camaro SS. Convertible. Next to another Grand Sport. And then what I think is a Z28, maybe? No SS? Still SS? Yeah, man. Now, what is a car show? What is a car show? Without me finding a CTS you guys. You guys know how I feel about the CTS All right. Super, super clean. Inside and out, man. Decked out, man. I, I really, really am gonna turn this car into the channel car soon. Um, and when I say channel car, more of the 
I'll still keep the 1320, but uh, you know, I'll probably switch over and let the CTSD be the drag car. Who knows? We'll see how this goes once I pick the car up. But you'll even see, you got another SS here, and it's one of my favorite cars out here as well, man. Super clean job, black interior, right? See the hood, man. Now, you guys, there are so many cars, like I've said it multiple times. So I'm going through some of the cars pretty quick, and I apologize, man. I love everybody's builds out here. Um, I'm seeing some cars that I've never seen, which is the purpose of me going to this actual event. Um, that way I don't keep showing you guys the same car, the same car, the same car, the same car. Because that is never fun, right? Um, so, outside of that, I'm gonna go around, because up in, up there, right, they actually have cars inside the actual, I don't wanna say arena, right, but where you walk around for the concession stands, all that good stuff, right? Now, I'm probably walking through somebody's stuff right now, so hopefully somebody don't get mad, but it is what it is. Um, you know, I still have cars lined up here. Um, and again, yes, you can hear they are still drifting. Those cars are probably going to overheat sooner or later. Um, but this is the car I wanted to get to. Like, check, look, look at this. Look at this. Look at the sparkle in the paint, the details on the inner half. Right? Like, this thing is. Perfect, man. It's a very long car, but it's super clean and done the right way, you guys. Done the right way. All right, so we're going inside, which means there are some crazy show cars in here. Um, and uh, I'm gonna show you. Oh, get back! Come on, light! Come on, light! Come on! Oh, whoa, whoa! All right, now the light's catching me, right? Um, I'm actually gonna walk through first, see the cars, and then show you because well, you can see what it says, you guys. Best of the best. Alright? Best of the best. Alright, so we have a driftwood here, man. Um, like I said, these are considered some of the best of the best when it comes to the show cars that are here. Um, this thing is like immaculate. I can't even explain how much effort probably goes into not only keeping the car clean, but the effort that went into the actual car itself, man. Um, that brown is just different. I don't even know. I didn't, I don't, I don't, I've never seen a brown, but it's almost got like a bronze copper to it. Um, it's super crazy. Um, here we have a Gremlin over here, an SS, right? We even have a Mach 1 over here in the middle. Right, this Mach 1 is crazy, and it's in a gold, which is one of those things that definitely pops out. Definitely pops out. And then check this thing out, man. We got a 67, 19, yeah, 67 SS Camaro, right? And you can see on the, <laughs> look on the glass over there, you can see how clean it exhaust is. That, this car probably does not leave a trailer, man. Uh, and even got a Corvair. I think that's how you say it, Corvair. Right? Another Corvair with a mid-engine. You see it, mid-engine. All right. A Dodge Charger, Fast and Furious. Check this thing out. That is absolutely crazy. This was in the movie, matter of fact. I'm sorry, I'm just not reading and seeing. This was in the movie, Fast and Furious. That's a bad car, you guys. That is a bad car. We got another Bel Air. But, there's a car right here that I don't know what it is, so it looks, looks custom built, right? But check out the paint on it. It is absolutely out of this world, man. Like, I don't even know what kind of car it is, but, it's on bags. You can see, I don't even know what chassis it actually is on, but the color is just crazy on it. Let's find out. It's a 1999 Chad Martin. Oh. It started as a 36 Chevrolet. That's crazy. Look at that. 
That is wild. And of course, of course, man. You're always gonna have your force at hand. It's clean too, you guys. I love the red. But now those are considered the best of the best. Ooh, the sunlight's gonna hit me hard. Those are considered the best of the best in the show, right? Um, but for me, you know, I just have a different taste, right? It just is what it is. Um, but let me know what you like best out of the best of the best that's inside. Still got a lot of cars to get to you guys. I got a lineup here of uh, Corvairs. Let's take a look. Like I said, we had a line of them, right? Nice little line all the way down. They do a nice job of setting up auto fare, I'm not gonna lie. I can't even imagine the amount of effort that goes in, man. Can't even imagine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's crazy, I just learned something new, you guys. I did not know, I did not know that was a rear engine car. That is wild. Somebody school me in the comments on these, man. Um, never seen that before. Super clean, you guys. All right, now these are cars that, these are what I call street car takeovers, right? You're gonna sit there and look at a 4.6 supercar engine, right? And then check out the engine that sits on this. Right, and look at all the nitrous lines that go in. And then the big thing is, look how big the tire is. So I had to take a break and talk, talk to the owner right quick, but you can see these are some of the biggest superchargers I've ever seen. Uh, and I saw this at Streetcar Takeover. It's fully pro-charged, right? Fully Hoosiered out, man, track car. Absolutely crazy car. And that was crazy. Look how big these sit up. And again, look at the wheels, look at the tires. Like, this is a dream. This is a dream, man. And they all got, they're all on nitrous, bro. Look at all, all on nitrous. But check this out. Check this out. Check that out. He even got bottles in the back. Check it out. Look at man. Like I said, street car takeover, man. These things are not to be played with. And this orange is just absolutely crazy. But biggest thing is I haven't even gotten down to the cars that are close to my group or showed you the people that are in my group, right? Um, there's even a Cam Corvette going right now, man. You can see it. Cam and supercharged. Listen to that. Absolutely crazy. Got a nice little lineup. Nice little lineup, man. Look at that. Got the skinnies on up front. Super crazy. Got a race truck here. Another Grand National. But what you're going to see is one of the more famous challengers that are around Charlotte in the North Carolina area, right? You've seen it all the time. You've seen it on Rubik's channel before. Fully paint match yellow. Even a race car out here. But... Man, that's crazy. We even got a Jurassic Park Jeep with a dinosaur hanging out. But yeah, let's get to my group, you guys. All right, we got a nice orange Z06. And again, this is our group, the Head Turners group. This was the guy who used to own the Daytona Hellcat that was like perfectly spotless. Um, and then, you know, this is Skullcandy, you guys. Check it out. 
530 wheel. All right. Yeah, nice 5 -oh. You got 704 Mulatto and of course the famous Helgato. All right. Yeah, my man. With the gold. With the gold rims, man. The 2SS. Of course. Nice 5 -oh. Another nice 5 -oh with a hood swap. Hood swap. Check out that hood. Nice little engine bay setup. up. Got the WRX. We got another WRX. My bad, STI. WRX. Yep. Super clean. And check out, check out the details. And of course, Pegasus. Right, and of course the famous Optimus truck, who won best of show for us. Oh, it's awesome. Uh, super clean, man. But this is this is our lineup, you guys. So, I'm finally getting up. All right, to where they have more cars, right, lined up on what I would consider the outskirts of the actual show itself. Um, and first thing I saw was a few Mustangs coming up up here you guys are going to take a look at um like i said man mustangs definitely travel in packs uh oh you can hear all that going on man there is so many cars here it's ridiculous but check this out man this is fully supercharged right i'm pretty sure he's running meth of some sort especially from the tank back there but that might be brake fluid who knows all right mustangs are clean um, it's just not not my thing, man. Not my thing. You even got a nice Roush Mustang here as well. Super clean, though, you guys. Mustang group did, did come crazy over here. All right, we're going to see two beasts that you don't see too often, man. A C6 ZR1. All right, check out the four stars down here, man. Super clean and black. You can see the carbon fiber. All right, and then, of course, your CTSV wagon, man. This is one of the biggest sleeper cars that you see on the street um, and would never know that that thing is absolutely crazy. Uh, then we got another Mustang and what looks to be a older body style Camaro. And a nice blue older Corvette. Super clean, though, man. Look at this actual race car. Like, man, look at, look at, look at the tires, bro. Like, what? That is crazy. And that's all they get. So I can only imagine how hot it really is up in there, man. No air conditioning. Then you're sitting here with a, a few Malibu SS's, man. Nice car, but you know they discontinued them. Uh, at least I think they did. You know, don't mark my words on that one. And of course, you got some more Corvettes sitting out here. Again, man, I keep running into this style, man. That granite gray with the blue. Keep running into that style, super clean. And if you can't tell by now, I'm a huge CTSV fan. And I'm a spot everyone can see. And what's crazy is it's on four stars, right? Four stars are absolutely crazy. Silver, black interior, man. Did a nice little job. Most of the guys who run the CTSVs keep it fairly clean um, and just know that the car is meant to run and that's, that's what they use it for, man. We are about to head back inside, so I'm assuming that it's gonna be some crazy nice cars. Get this light a minute, you guys know how that goes, man. Um, but, first thing you're gonna see is a slam to Bel Air, right? Super clean. Looks like they got a few booths. Booths, I can't even speak, look at me. Um, but what I came in here for, you guys, were these Mustangs that I'm going to show you. Now, they got a whole bunch of parts, accessories, things of that nature, you guys. Um, but these Mustangs that are right here are supposed to be super fast from the Ford Racing School. And check out, check, Trackhawk what? Right? Trackhawk what? Um, now, super, super crazy. You're talking about GT500. Um, HP tuners, done car, right? And you know it's fast when you have a fire extinguisher in the car with a roll cage and racing seats, you guys. Uh, 
and Shelby does a really, really good racing seat quality harness, things of that nature, man. Um, be something to definitely look into, man. It's one of those things that you can sign up to do. Super, super crazy. And they even have a couple other Fords. You got a nice Ford Bronco. Nice little Roush over there as well. Um, and check out all of these signs. That's, that's wild. I wonder if they could do my logo in it. That'd be sick. All right, you're looking at all of the best in the show cars that were chosen basically from each group, you guys. Um, and what I mean by each group, each group that signed up, you know, everybody got a best in the show. And you'll see them line up and they'll choose between all of these for the actual best in the show of the actual event. You can see, got a nice little setup, man. Nice little setup. Oh, you heard that? Pro Charger, Supercharger, baby. Yeah, man, they're lined up. A long way. Super long way, man. You can see they're even lined up here all the way down ah oh, i remember this car i've seen this car before you can see they're lined up all the way down you can see same old same old man you can see this is ours ht car Right. Um, this was our best in show. Got a nice Roush. Wow, they really do line up all the way down here, man. Um, got a nice Trans Am. And again, they're basically going to show every one of these cars and then choose between these as the best in show itself. And you can see a lot of people have actually cleared out, man. Um, 